Centoya Brown State of Tennessee v. Centoya Denise Brown Murder of Johnny Allen On the night of August 5, 2004, 16-year-old Brown met 43-year-old Johnny Mitchell Allen in the parking lot of a Sonic Drive-In on Murfreesboro Road in Nashville, Tennessee. This area is a known red-light district and the two allegedly met for a paid sexual encounter. Of note, Allen was a real estate broker and a United States Army veteran. Brown agreed to have sex with Allen for the price of $150. US it is important to note that the age of sexual consent in Tennessee in 2004 was 18 years of age. Dot as such, Brown's agreement did not constitute true sexual consent in the eyes of the law. Brown and Allen ordered dinner and Allen drove the pair to his home on Mossdale Road. At some point during the encounter Brown shot Allen in the back of the head using her .40 caliber handgun. She then absconded in Allen's Ford F-150 in possession of Allen's wallet and two of his firearms. Allen's wallet allegedly contained 172 U.S. dollars. Arrest and Trial Brown was arrested and charged with one count of premeditated murder, one count of murder, and one count of aggravated robbery. Despite being under 18, she was tried as an adult. Brown never denied shooting Allen, however, she argued that the act was committed in self-defense. Thus, making the act manslaughter rather than homicide. Brown stated that Allen had intimidated her by repeatedly standing over her while she lay in his bed. As further motivation for the act of self-defense, she stated that she believed Allen was reaching for a firearm as the two lay in bed, thus prompting her to shoot Allen with her own firearm. Based on the position in which Allen's body was discovered, investigators believed that Allen may have been asleep when he was shot. Forensics noted that, post-mortem, Allen was laying with his hands underneath his head. This gives credence to the prosecution's argument that the act was a homicide motivated by Brown's intent to rob Allen. Additionally, Brown admitted to stealing Allen's cash and property and expressed her intention to pawn the stolen rifles. During the interview, Brown denied that she was a prostitute and denied having sex with the victim. Rather, she said that she went from place to place in an attempt to find people who would provide her with food and shelter. Prosecutors ultimately took the stance that Brown had not been in danger and that she'd murdered Allen in order to steal from him. Ultimately, she was found guilty of murder and sentenced to 51 years to life in prison. Aftermath Brown was serving her sentence at the Tennessee Prison for Women a maximum security detention facility in Nashville, Tennessee. She would have been eligible for parole at age 67. Brown's former pimp, Gary and L. McLaughlin, also known as Gary McLaughlin and Cutthroat, died on March 30, 2005, at the age of 24, having been shot and killed by a man named Cortez Hines. Brown's story was featured in the 2011 documentary, Me Facing Life, Centoya's Story. Tennessee Supreme Court On December 6, 2018, the Tennessee Supreme Court issued a ruling on Centoya Brown's case, stating that she would be eligible for parole after serving 51 years. Parole and Clemency Hearings Nashville Police Detective Charles Robinson testified in Brown's 2004 murder trial that she told investigators she shot Allen because she feared for her life. In a letter dated December 12, 2017, Robinson urged Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam not to grant clemency to Brown. In the letter, the following was mentioned, First and foremost, Centoy Brown did not commit this murder because she was a child sex slave as her advocates would like you to believe. Centoy Brown's motive for murdering Johnny Allen in his sleep was robbery.